Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Boom City Breaks on a Saturday, September the 9th. And tonight we are breaking Gold Rush Hall of Fame jerseys. This here is an amazing five box break. We did random letter sales for this break. You can see just to the left here, we have already randomized both the letters and the customers. We then alphabetized the customers so everybody could see who they had at the end here. Gave them all ample opportunity to trade. Don't see nothing going. Doesn't seem like too many people are ever interested in trading um, letters. So here we go. My last five boxes. So last five boxes in the case. Pop, pop. Let's see what we gonna start out with. Wow, well, well, those colors sort of freaked me out a little bit. But that there is another nice, nice, nice friggin' hit from this product, man. That has been three nice friggin' hits for you boys in a row, man. That is gonna be Mr. Dick Buttkiss, y'all. That is the white Dick Buttkiss. So B is gonna win that, baby. It is, and um, it is a custom. It's not a stats or anything as well, but she is a really nice one, man. Love that jersey. You can't help but love the beast and animal that was Dick Buttkiss. Man, it has been a nice freaking case, um, or a nice product for us, man. Gold Rush is treating us pretty good. I keep telling you guys that, and I just don't know how much I got to pull out of this stuff for you guys to finally say, wow. It's like <laughs> All right, let's see what else we going to hit, man. That is, um... Last three boxes, man, have been a Curtis Martin... Nolan Ryan and Dick Butkus, folks. Those have been our last three boxes of HOF. See if we can keep this friggin' amazing thing going here, guys. I'm not sure who the hell that is. Oh my god, it's another B hit, man. That is the berry. Wow, and on top of it is a Stads jersey, guys. Wow. Oh my god. Wow, guys. I can't do anything about that. It the hell, man. It is a berry, and it is a stats berry on top of it, guys, man. It is a nice looking a jersey. It is a Golden State jersey that don't matter, man, because that is a B hit, man. And I never would have thought one letter would get two, man. I think that's probably the first time that's ever happened in all the HOF we've we've opened, guys. Um, but, I, again, I can't do anything about that, man. Y'all know that is a Roy hit one more time, man. Wow. <laughs> all right, we're going to reload up all three of our next boxes here, guys. So, these are our last three boxes in the break. Man, those last four jerseys have not been too bad, guys. Rick Berry, Dick Buckus, Curtis Martin, and Nolan Ryan, folks. Come on. Those last four boxes have not been friggin' bad. Let us see what the hell else we gonna pull out of this. Well, again, man, I don't think that's a bad hit either, guys. It is a Steve Largent, man. And, you know, I pulled a lot of Steve Largents, guys. That's probably his the nicest Steve Largent sig I've ever seen. Sometimes his sigs are awful. That's and it's got the H O F inscription on it. Really great looking Steve Largent sig, man. 
Wow. I hate to say it, you know, I don't get, I've never, gra actually, I love this player, and I've never actually grabbed one, because I thought it was an awful sig, man, and that's one that, yeah, that I may be a bitter on. <laughs> Depending on who hit that, that is going to be a flan hit. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm telling you guys, that's I pulled a lot of Steve Largents, man, and it was there was probably the nicest Largent sig I think I've ever seen, man. He does some of his sigs are awful. I love the jersey. I, I love the player, guys. I mean Largent, like I said, my my opinion, second best receiver right behind Jerry Rice. Wow, come on guys, I know it may not be like the highest end hit, but you guys have not been treated bad here, guys. That is a Ronnie Lott, and oh my god, it is another L, is it? <laughs> oh god, I can't do nothing about that, man. <laughs> did not even hit me until I flipped that sucker over and I was like that is another L oh my god you know that again you guys break this with us that's never happened once in in, in, in the HOF guys and it just happened twice in one case Alright, so that is a flan. Oh, you're, you're so full of crap. Like I said, I know because you didn't hit, but that is name-wise and everything. Yeah, name-wise and everything, guys. You guys can't. Sorry, man. That, that is not bad hits at all so far. That shit always happens to me. <laughs> it never seems to happen there. Oh, guys, who the hell is that? Is that Andre Dawson? Whoa, man, that is the Expo Andre Dawson. Come on, guys, that was not a bad friggin' buy boxer, guys. Maybe not the highest end of price jerseys, but name-wise, dude, that's a long way from a bad break, guys. That is going to be the Expos, Andre Dawson, man, salami, salami, yep, uh, everybody loved him here in Chicago, man, he was such a great player, yep. Very nice, Andre Dawson, Expos jersey. Come on, guys. That was not a bad break in any friggin' way, shape, or form. D, D, D. Ah, there you go, AJ. Get something out of there, bud. Whoop. Dang, guys, I'm sorry to the guys who did not win. I know that sucks or whatever, and I'm really sorry about the, the hits, but like I said, guys, I don't pack the damn product, you know, but I'm dying. Oh, I don't care what any of you say, man. Name-wise and such, that was a not a bad friggin' five box. Like I said, may not have been giant cost-wise, but it was not bad. You got butt kiss. Rick Berry, Largent, Ronnie Lott, and Andre Dawson. All right, the two boxes before that were Curtis Martin and Nolan Ryan, man. Not bad case at all, guys. Join us at Breakers.tv seven nights a week. We appreciate the click on the follow button. Have a good one.